All right, y'all, so question. And considering the title of this video, it should be pretty obvious what I'm about to ask. Would you ghost your soulmate for six months for $60 million? Which really doesn't make sense at first glance as a question. So I gotta explain a couple things real quick. By soulmate, I mean in general, someone you're 100% sure you wanna spend the rest of your life with them. You've had the whole, what are we gonna name our kids conversation type stuff. Not the soulmate as in someone you're destined for kind of deal as a whole other topic. I'm not gonna touch that I already touched. Two, this ghosting is out of the blue and you can't tell them the reason why you ghosted them. So knowing all that, what would you choose? Uh, vote in the top right. Like seriously, go ahead and vote. Now, for me personally, I chose no, like right off the bat. But to gauge if I was right, I got in a conversation with the people that brought me the question and we got into a debate to determine which side was right. So let's see who you agree with and if your opinion changes or not. The other night, right, we, we got in a conversation. Darren, you brought up a question to mm -hmm. us. What, what was that question? If you were with your significant other, would you consider ignoring them? Now I say like it is, would you would you ghost them without warning? Because we're all considering it. That's why we're would here. Would you ghost your significant other for six months for $60 million? And it's completely out of the blue. You can't be like, hey, I'm gonna be gone for six months. No, no <laughs> warning. Like you just gotta just, you kinda gotta just vanish. Friends and family can't know either. Right? No one knows why you're doing this. Like oh, literally no one right. but you know. No, that's good, that's good. It's your question. Darren brought the question and he goes, that is good. <laughs> so how we'll be answering this question is through the power of swaying other people. Some of us are on the side of yes, we do think you could take this deal. And some of us aren't. And we'll be trying to convince Darren of what side to go with. So far, let's figure out everybody's stances. First, Christian what's yours all right so my stance on this is that if i'm dating someone and hypothetically if we're talking to 60 cold 60 million cold ones 60 million <laughs> bud lights a cool 60 mil bro and we're we're in a best case scenario which means i love this woman yeah. like i am going to go out on a limb and say that no matter how much money is presented to me i don't think anything can buy me out of a relationship with the person that i'm going to spend the rest of my life with no i I get that too. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't get it. I feel like this probably goes without saying, but you're for it, right? I know people are. I know people are type. Oh, fucking Ivan's greedy. As f <laughs> it's not the money for me. I'm not looking at it as just oh, sixty million dollars. It's a wrap. It's only for six months. I'm looking at it as after six months, I can vastly improve my partner's quality of life forever. Like she will be done won't have to work a day for her life won't have to her kids her grandkids won't have to work a day in their lives of course yes there's the additional emotional trauma but <laughs> but y'all really come i'm the villain right now yo so <laughs> okay so now that everyone has said what side they're on we will now try to convince the party on the fence before we continue can we establish the relationship status of both parties. Yeah, let's, I think and we can, we can put a spectrum on that. So Christian says, yo, I would not want to risk the love of my life for any sort of payment, right? Everyone's like, he's probably dating the love of his life. I'm single as f I was on Tinder before this recording, <laughs> right? <laughs> Ivan, who is willing to argue with me over this. It's arguably with the love of his life. Who, what's your situation, bud? No, it's fine. So I'm with I'm with the love of my life, and that's how I know for a fact that after six <laughs> months we will be okay, bro. We I will be okay. I we will be okay. Bro. <laughs> we will be okay. Well, all right. Well, wait, you. real quick. What did you, what did your girl say when you presented this question to her? Real quick. What did she say? <laughs> what What did she yeah, say? Yeah. So what Ivan actually say? messaged his girl. Because I was curious. So so as any as any normal person would, okay? I'm pretty sure I'm the outlier if, if anyone hasn't noticed yet. But nah. no, you're I don't think you are. She said, would you really risk your relationship for money? So I responded with, I'm not looking at it in terms of, oh, I get $60 million? That's cool. For six months? No, no, it's like, oh, I get to make your life a hundred times easier forever and your family's life and their family's life and their kids and their grandkids 60 million will not go away for a long time and if it all it takes is six months of us just not talking and i can somehow come back from that and tell you hey i've been gone a while but here's why and i'm telling you it's gonna be a crazy reason but you'll understand when i explain it to you i trust our relationship enough to know that like she'll understand like it's wild it's crazy and she'll definitely break up with me but i feel like she'll understand after the fact like yo i did this for you please understand that this opportunity 
Never. No, but that is not a normal opportunity. Wait, so you'll give her the $60 million? Like, I'm not keeping a single cent, no. You wouldn't keep, you wouldn't, you would give it all to her? I would give it all, yeah. Ah, uh, that's cap. No, absolutely. <laughs> that's absolutely. cap. Y'all can have, no, you, you guys can have your opinions. That's cap. You that's cap. You guys that's can have big cap. You can that have is, your opinions. That's cap. But I stand by, I stand cap. by this decision. I know you want Kurt Ritchie, but <laughs> you ain't got that much cap. You don't need that much <laughs> you got, cap, You guys bro. can say whatever you want. I stand by this decision. Okay, so you do this knowing she might break up with you? Yes. No girl and no money. That's what you're telling me right now. No, no, no. If, if, uh, <laughs> no, my God. That's what you're telling me. I'm doing this because I know that we'll end up back together. If I explain it to her, that's what that's what I'm saying. Money is so low on my priority of life that this question is really only a matter of like, how willing am I to give up a relationship? It's not even a sense of the money. For Ivan, who cares about money, it's probably an argument to his relationship. Nah, bitch, you put words in my mouth. I told you it's not about the money, it's about quality of life. It's what I do with the money, not the money in itself. Okay, Ivan, that's all peaches and cream, but Here's the thing though. I, I feel confident that like the emotional turmoil you're going to put them through is actually insane, especially if you love them to death, yo. Mm -hmm. Y'all are borderline about to live together and then gone. Imagine the turmoil, the mental stress. Let's just say you took it fresh in your bank account. It's been six months. Yeah. You talk to her again and y'all catch up. Like what what do you do after that? Yeah, she got a whole nother dude now. Nah, fuck <laughs> the dude. She got trust issues, bro. You know who you are? Where am I, I mean, you're Thanos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I? You're Thanos, bro. I just realized balance. it. So I was thinking syndrome from Incredibles. <laughs> nah, because he's syndrome. he's willing to sacrifice in order for what he considers the greater good. Instead of half this half the planet, it is your whole relationship. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up his girl from therapy in a, in a Lamborghini, and she pulls up to the parking lot and goes. But at what cost? Oh, this is something that reminds me of this saying I saw somewhere. And it was like, the hero would sacrifice you to save the world, but a villain would sacrifice the world yeah, to save yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you were a villain. I'm trying to sacrifice the world. <laughs> I have nothing to say. What did it cost? <laughs> my relationship <laughs> what did it cost my relationship no it, it really is though i get it i understand where you're coming from but i don't think those six months of trauma that you put them through is not worth i'm it. not even gonna deny that it sounds wild like that of course i under i acknowledge that it sounds wild but i'm just saying like that is not a normal opportunity who gets that who walks up to you and goes all right 60 million just throw your phone away I mean, yeah, but you can also argue on the other side. Like, how often do you run into the love of your life, you know? Now that you know you have it and you have the opportunity to make something out of that, like, why risk it in the first place? All right, so let's 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 get a tally out of here. This was supposed to be convincing Darren, but I think Darren was convinced immediately. Darren, Darren already had his mind made up. So, yeah. Darren, what's your stance after all this? What's your stance? Contrary to popular belief, I, I dead ass still don't have one. No. <laughs> Were you just do all that to be like mm. <laughs> the reason why I was asking Ivan all those questions is because I wanted to challenge him on what he believed. Yeah. But like, yeah, like I honestly see where he's coming from. Yeah, he's standing. But I, I also it. understand the other side. Like, dude, it's sixty million dollars. Mm. That's life changing money. So if you yeah. had to if you had to lean one way, Darren. I'm gonna say I'm gonna lean. I'm only on a no. I'm only on a no. All right, Darren's a no. There we go. Ivan, bro. I you really just got out. No. And I feel like I know that would we'd be okay after. I'm pretty no. sure. And then the shit, the <laughs> shitty answer no, is. Topic, I'm, so, pretty I'm pretty sure. sure. There's two ways to answer. Sure. It's either I'm gonna hope, which is how I'm gonna the see it. I'm gonna hope, explodes. or uh, she breaks up. The, she breaks up with me. We don't get back together. I have a cool sixty mil. There it is. And I'm good. <laughs> That's what we so, were waiting for. That's sixty million in depression. Wait, wait, wait. Real shit, Ivan. If I gave you a hundred dollars, would you ghost your girl for one week? Only a hundred, man. You can't come up Whoa. with this. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not just, listen, a, listen. It's not just a hundred, bro. It's a cold blue, blue cheese, cheese one hundred thousand. The whole point of this sixty million is it's life changing. That's the whole point. If you give me fucking five hundred bucks a grand, that shit means nothing to me, Kurt. That means nothing. Oh, now you really cap it. You definitely yeah. did not say that last no. night. No, well now. Now we're now we're recording. Now we're so on, what? Now we're on 4K. What about $500? $500. Right, shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm ending the recording. <laughs> He's picking them up. The episode is over. No, I'm not going to do that. 500 cold no. blue ones. I'll give you seven, 700 blue cheeses.
Now, 60 million for a relationship is a lot of money. Like, like a lot of money but you know what isn't 60 million and i value as much as a relationship my relationship with the people at skillshare the brand that i would make love to if they weren't literally a website if you didn't know skillshare is an online learning community that gives you membership with meaning giving you access to a myriad of classes that give you the ability to learn just about anything with just a few clicks ever wanted to really dive into your passion and improve your craft well my good friends over at skillshare have got you from creative fields like photography or art to self-improvement through productivity to even taxes they come cover taxes y'all like something i'll i have to start soon or i'll be going to jail Me personally as i work with my manga artists to get better with these videos i'm trying to get a better idea at storyboarding them so they can have an easier time of drawing so i've been checking out the very aptly named learn to storyboard the first steps of visual storyboarding by leo Matsuda. and you guys can learn how to not go to jail for taxes or you know something important to your building your passion for less than ten dollars a month yes ten dollars a month but you better act quick because only the first one thousand people who click my link in the description will get the chance. So if you want to learn a lot and save a lot, click my link in the description and get to learning with tens of thousands of others with Skillshare. Thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Oh, what's up, y'all? Yo, it's the boy, Kurt. And um, yo, I really hope you like that video. I want to do way more of these. Yo, so like, let me know in the comments, how do y'all feel? What did y'all vote? If you haven't voted, there's like a little vote thing in the top right. You should do that. And also, like, I'm, I'm very certain that I am in the vast minority here of people who um, of, of feel like that. <laughs> like, I get it. I understand. 60 million, 60 million. Everyone's opinion's valid. So, yo, go ahead, put your opinion down below. Let me know. A vote in the poll and we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please check out the last one. Share this up. Much love. That's all I got. Um, and, uh, and check out the Patreon so I can afford food. And, but yeah, let me know more specifically if y'all like seeing these types of videos. That's all I got. Much love. I'll catch y'all next time. My room is a mess. There is Popeyes on my shelves. All right, y'all. I'll, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.